the false prophet taking the murder weapon. And this kind of made Reddit spin into a bit of a cycle as Denise has been struggling, kind of seeing like about psychosis, struggling like, ah, oh, the devil, the devil, the devil, Johnny Carter's the devil. And is he actually the devil? Only time will tell. Well, he's he's been a bit weird. He has been a bit strange, you know. Maybe he has nicked the knife. Maybe he's just trying to suss him out. But EastEnders does love to do a bit of foreshadowing, really. They do like to, you know, play with some fucking... Play with some scenarios. And kind of like with Christmas, they teased a lot of the stuff. So the false prophet was a strict mention of who is the weapon. So I'm going to read this person's little prediction and then we can go through it piece by piece. With the Who Has the Murder Weapon mystery popping up, the one thing that went along with it is something close to last year's lock-in toast, the Beware of False Prophets passage, appropriately delivered on the one-year anniversary of the Flash Forward. The passage itself is generally interpreted, if my analysis, if my analysis is correct, about be it, uh, to be about wolves in sheep's clothing. More importantly, how an individual can appear righteous, but by examining their actions, one can see that they they are in fact the opposite. So you know, put on on a, like Nish. <laughs> For the most part, Nish is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Cause he's like, yeah, I'm cool. Everybody loves me. Flash. I did. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking. I did. I, 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 before we get just a t- tiny talk of Nish. I fucking did you did you read the article where Nish is like, our uh, Navin Chowdy is like, uh, I'm afraid that his school runs because. Because people will just comment on me. So, you know, and he's standing on being and women, but fucking in real life, I'm just going, come here, love, <laughs> give me a kiss. You know, yeah. <laughs> and I love it. Like, guys, please. I'm just a normal guy. I'm like, Black you're a sex bad, man. Please. <laughs> Fuck you, Nish. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's kind of how soap people have to deal with it, anyways. It's like, ah, oh, bloody hell. Uh. Isn't it like they were fucking chanting pedo at fucking <laughs> at the guy who the guy who plays uh for uh the stalker the stalker to Stacy Theo Oh Theo yeah <laughs> but yeah it's look people get a bit too wrapped up in TV I'll say that much look we we have experience we see fucking fans standing at airports waiting for wrestlers at four in the morning oh, yeah, I thought you were gonna be like yeah we have fans too they come up to us and they shout nonsense at you like. Piggy, those aren't fans. <laughs> those are the parents. <laughs> Bit edgy joke for this channel. <laughs> Bit edgy joke for this channel. <laughs> Keep it in. Um, That's, it's just going to be an awkward pause. Where it's going to be like, oh, yeah, Piggy, I'm going to hang you out to water. You see, these parents are like... No, you know what? Maybe It's not something to be joked about, but hey, it was an edgy joke and it was decent enough, so we take it. Um, and it came from me as well, and ah, fuck it. I can handle the, the burn. Um, <laughs> going by this passage, I feel like Kathy is the best reflection. All right, so Kathy, wolf in sheep's clothing, has been kind of. I was I was joking about it before, but to piggy off camera, but like Kathy has kind of turned into this like mob boss wife type character who like takes over the fucking firm when the husband dies, and then she's like actually more. Of a, of a bastard than he ever was. Um, where she's like, don't you fucking mess up, you little bastard. Yeah, I'll sort our deal. All right, Karen. Fuck off. <laughs> like, you know, Karen, she was willing to call the police on Karen, just like knife to the fucking throat, like, shh. All right, Karen, now time to leave. It just, Bernie's like, whoa, whoa. And Kathy's like, ah, oh, I was only saying... You're not buttering your fucking toast properly. Jesus Christ, do this. It's fucking it's some nonsense. Um, but yeah, no, I, I fuck with it. I like it. I enjoy it. And carrying on with this. Do-do-do. On a symbolic level, the part about the good tree can't bear corrupt fruit plays over the cafe, which superficially paints her as innocent, which usually indicates the opposite, and her action says otherwise interesting enough even you could just take that she's ben's she's ben's mum <laughs> is ben's mum he's a bit of a fucking knobber not terrible but a bit of a fucking absolute knobber um continuing with denise's view and uh, bringing a revolution a revolution a revelation it's not johnny that's been after denise 
or that's helped the walls to close in on Denise. It was Kathy. Kathy was the one that firmly stopped her from getting the necklace, stating that she'd shopped Denise for the murder. She was also the one that made the plea about how much the other woman had sacrificed, which got the other woman to agree and side against Denise. Kathy has acted as the false prophet, and the other, the other woman followed and stood up behind to gang up on Denise and help keep her in check. All things considered, she was the catalyst for pushing Denise over the edge. Yeah, I'm true. It's, it, all, it all checks out to me. Um, After it was Keanu who pushed her over the edge. Lately, Kathy's also been subtly pushing characters on certain paths, like when she fought against Stacy's choice to get Denise mental health help, um, or when she, or when she went out of her way to set a potential deal with Phil to help get rid of Karen. There's a sense of calculation and coldness to Kathy, as well as her being a bit more emotionally manipulative than the rest and doing a lot behind the scenes, so to speak, running the show without the others catching on as to how much influence she has. If the passage of a wolf in sheep's clothing was a clue to who the culprit is, I'll bet a couple quid on Kathy being the one to have it. That's a pretty interesting take, honestly. I'll give that entirely. That's a pretty fucking cool looking... I like it, you know? It's always good to play on all the events, piece them together, make a little hypothesis, and go from there. It's what the best people who do the theories do, where it's like, okay, we're starting here, we're going A to B to C, done. Easy. Pretty cool theory, all in all. Um, but... Uh, do you have any, any big thoughts on it? Do you think that Kathy is, you know, kind of secretly kind of leading everyone? Um, uh, yeah, it would be funny, but, like, people go, I, I never understood Kathy's mean side. She was married to Phil, guys. She, she shagged Phil. When you get, inherit some things from Phil and then keep them deep down and pull them out when you can. Like, yeah, I mean... Well, it's that kind of idea that I think we'll just go along the line of Kathy's been through a lot of shit. She's had a pretty rough fucking life. Um, and she's now lost pretty much everything. So it's now just like, I'm not fucking losing anymore. Like that kind of like, fuck it, who cares now, right? I've got nothing to lose. Fuck it. Not risking my fucking safety. Like... Pro probably doesn't have the most to lose, but in her eyes, she's already lost everything. So, like, kind of. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't, but wouldn't the murder just just go down by themselves? I know the six. I mean, no, 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 the six all covered it up. Like, you yeah, can't yeah, just wouldn't... you can't just say that it was just one person who killed a guy, brought him to a to a burnt out cafe that probably shouldn't have the keys for. Um and also single-handedly cemented the cafe like it you know they they've all they've all covered it up so they're all complicit yeah but couldn't Kathy say oh, oh i've a touch of dementia a touch of dementia i don't know what you're on yeah about. but cl claiming claiming like insanity or lack thereof is uh it's not <laughs> it ain't easy all right as much as people easy, think that it's a fucking People think it's an easy, like, oh, you know, just act like you're seeing things. Like, you don't want to be in one of those mental health hospitals if you're not mentally ill. Like, you really fucking don't. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it, you know, oh, it's an easy defense. You'll get off later. I don't know about that, shit. Uh, but, um, but, but, like, the greatest uh, trick the devil ever pulled is making new people leak. think it doesn't exist. But Kathy is the devil herself. But even though I do want it to be Johnny, because it's funny, because I, again, I just come up with all these weird scenarios where I'm like, wouldn't it just be funny? Johnny's just sitting in the fucking, like, they show, like, how did he see Keanu, like, just sitting there? So you imagine Johnny sitting in a full devil's outfit with the little stick and everything, yeah. and he has, like, the horns. Like, I don't know why that, that's what my mind goes there, but I, it's just like, we're making Denise loony. I don't, loony. Because he's seen everything. Yeah. I just wanted to be bad shit. So like, she's, so like Jack's driving the car and then it's Keanu in the back seat going, where, where, mommy, help, mommy, help. All these weird fucking things. 
Um, obviously, the person in the back of the car would be Raymond, but she thinks it's Keanu. Um, but yeah, Kathy being the devil, I don't know. Could she be the devil? That's the real question. I believe or so. Or is it just, or is it just a plot? Um. But yeah, let's see what people think about this theory, though, and then put that away. We'll. I so was going to use the word politely. Then we'll politely end the video. Um. Someone says, "I think it's Kathy from the stare that Johnny gave her. She's turned into a total bitch recently." I don't think she's not been that bad, but like, let's be real. A lot of people be like, "Ah, oh, I bloody hate this character." It's like, well, yeah, they're they're trying to make sure they don't get arrested for murder. All right, sorry, they're not like fucking shaking hands and kissing babies. There's a lot on the line here. There's a lot on the fucking line. I'm sorry that these women are in self-preservation mode, but it's kind of it also shows how like how well. They've built up all of the six to be women that pretty much, even if you don't care about all of them, you care about at least like two thirds of them. So therefore, if they're being a fucking a bit of a cow to Denise, for example, and you love Denise, you're like, ah, why are you guys being such pricks to Denise? Ah. Um. So like, it's it's a good show as to how fucking. I don't know. It's just, it's very good. It's very good. I like it. I love it. I, you love it, you wear it. Um, it says, I think Rocky is soon up for sentencing. We'll see how she reacts to that. Someone says, someone's just having some huffy, like huffing some copy and hoping that Rocky's going to come back. He's not. He's not. He's gone. He's he's gone. <laughs> like, he's he's gone. He's not coming back. Mate, he might come back coming eventually. Back. He's not he's coming, coming back, back anytime soon. As he's coming back, don't die. He's coming. Back. Like what? Look, people need to make a difference between what you're hoping for and what's actually realistic. And I feel like it it kind of sways a bit too much in the. Uh, it, I feel like it sometimes just goes to be too much hopium, where it's like, I oh, don't know, no, but my favorite, like people hoping that Chelsea would have won the fucking the uh, Carabao Cup. Oy! There we are. Sorry about that. Um, I had stated the video as well. This video is not coming out for a week. We're chilling. <laughs> uh, when you look at Chelsea, I was like, "What the fuck did Chelsea win?" Nothing. Fucking, I got fucking nothing. nothing. <laughs> exactly, dickhead. Where's your trophy today, dickhead? Like I was like, "What the fuck did the Stingers character win?" Like, <laughs> um, consumed a couple of bevies. Did 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 your dad? Over that victory, having a fucking great time. Oh, he did, he did. Drank a um, full bottle of whiskey. Oh, fucking hell. No, he didn't, he didn't. He was <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. We, we yep. play, we, he, you played Got Your Nose, he still thinks it's gone. He's still knocking the door asking for his nose, back. Don't know what weird character we've got there. <laughs> full bottle of whiskey and Got Your Nose. <laughs> so, yeah. Someone says it's funny because Kathy since her 2015 return is so much close to 90s Cindy's, and Cindy Net right now is much closer to original Kathy. Yeah, I mean that's I feel like that's why fucking Cindy and Kathy are destined to never get on because they're both very similar. And like, yeah, sure, Kathy has the holier than thou type kind of uh aura, but fundamentally pretty fucking similar. Um Someone says, "Did it do? There's one thing with sure Rocky and Nish can never have a conversation between them because if they do, it's all over for the six. Um, it says wonderful read as always, and I believe the episode she could have taken it was in February 9th when Linda slapped her in the face. Linda leaves to find her family. Kathy then tells Lauren to go take Annie and Kathy. Ha uh, has the whole upstairs of the Victor herself, with only Tracy downstairs." I believe that's when Kathy looks underneath the bed and takes the murder weapon. I like that. That honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty convincing to me. I'm gonna I believe Kathy took the murder weapon. weapon. Do you? Jasper. That is true. He's a parrot. You can't trust parrots. <laughs> with knives. 
Actually, no, it's a meat thermometer. I guess he could manage it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually different. He's a power of us. He's not going to look at the weapon and go, oh, meat thermometer. He's gonna... <laughs> yeah, true. No, he's, he's, it's, you know, like people have like bird watching books. He pulls out like a fucking human watching book and he's like, you kitchen utensil. Meat thermometer. Ah, uh, yes. Then it starts like, you know all those videos where crabs like have like a knife. Whoosh, fucking, fucking hell, Jasper. Jeez. I feel I don't know why, but I feel like Jasper would speak like William Shakespeare. Yeah, now hold by meat thermometer. Yeah. I shall now quench that, the thirst of Reese Pie. That is that is what that is indeed Shakespeare. Uh. Art thou hold them bitches? Fantastic. Kathy really confused Meals from the February 19th episode at the 22nd minute mark. As she says hello to Johnny with him right there, she proceeds to talk over everyone to tell them that the police is dropping the search for Keanu, so we're all in the clear. Again, with Johnny right there, so bizarre, but Kathy keeping quiet about the weapon would make sense for Johnny's threatening behaviour a few seconds later of my mum not going down for this murder. This also fits nicely with Clenshaw doing something towards the story, during a character was a return week, like last year during Lisa's return, he introduced cufflinks. This year, Karen's return week, he steals the murder weapon. All right, I fucking, I, I, I fuck with this theory personally. I, I approve this theory. Uh, I'm gonna rabbit this one now. I'm gonna forget who actually made it. Who made this theory? Let me just check so we have this on record. Uh, user slash Midnight Mitchell 2019. Um, a regular Any on more? the Reddit, and they are a Mitchell stan. Uh, so, yeah, great theory. Uh, do you rate this theory? I I do, but I, for some reason, it just because it makes no sense. I just want Keanu to somehow have the murder weapon. <laughs> I know he's dead, but like, wouldn't it just be <laughs> funny? Like, they they they're they're like picking up the body, they're digging it up, they're fucking eh eh. What's that thermometer doing here? And then Guiano hmm. just does an awkward smile. Like, Hello. I'm fucking dead, lads. I'm on I'm the fucking, fucking Stella. Dead, like. Come here, bitch. I'm on the fucking Stella. I'll fucking batter you, love. <laughs> I don't know what. Like, I, I'm just thinking of that fucking annoying fucking Instagram person I see where he just starts battering the cup with like a, with a teaspoon. Like, Come here, love. I'm on the fucking Stella. Well, I'll fucking are. batter you. That's uh, I don't know one. That's enough for me. Uh, um, but like, I, I, oh, I dominated I like... the edgy joke today. I uh, I won the war. Uh, so we take it. Don't repeat it or do. Anyways, the false prophet taking the murder weapon ultimately means that Cappy is likely holding that precious meat thermometer. And we'll wonder. Cause look, you got to imagine that the six will not remain the six. You know, the six has already gotten greater by adding Johnny, and through time it'll become like self preservation mode, where maybe the six turn on each other. You know, maybe in this fucking massive court session, they all just proceed to say, fuck it. Yeah, it was all, it was all Linda. She's an alcoholic. You know, she can't hold her own. It's all Linda's fault. And they all just decide, fuck it. Linda can take the hit. We're not fucking doing it for you. Um, so it'll be fucking. Be interesting to see where they go with it. But as a whole, what do you think about the Kathy being the false prophet, stealing the murder weapon, and putting the frighteners on the six? We you know have been. I... Oh. Do you know what I'm getting reminded of? And everybody remember the false prophet. I don't know if you've seen that Simpsons episode where it's just this statue on top of a hill, and then they keep moving the statue. It's just like a false prophet, and they keep moving it. <laughs> and then it's it's like what is the profit? And it's just like a fucking Seven Eleven. <laughs> Solid, but yeah. Um, make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support us, we have a coffee, a Patreon, and YouTube memberships. You can pledge to us financially, monthly, one time, or monthly. And as a whole, join the Discord. We have fun little discussions in there sometimes, and you can get updated on all the news and all of the videos. Of watching Wolford. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join us in the next one. Bye bye.